Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Kenmore washer suspension rod kit. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the instructions, the suspension rods, the bushings, and the suspension balls. The suspension rods are located at each corner of the washer, and it's what supports the drum as you're doing your wash. The main reason you be changing it out is if they've gone bad and your tub is bouncing around too much. In order to get to the part, we have to open up the washer lid. On this particular style, there's a release on each side, about six and a half inches in. We're going to use our putty knife to push in there and release them, but we're also going to reach underneath the lid and grab the frame right here and pull forward on it because there's a stud right here on each side that makes it really hard to lift up if you don't pull forward. So you don't have to put the lid all the way up, but reach underneath and find the spring clip. You'll feel it when you press against it. And then once you push it in, you can pull here and lift up a little bit at the same time. Once you have one side done, we can go to the other. Now we can tape the lid down. You want to put a piece on each side to make sure it doesn't fall off when you lift the top up. We made this strap earlier with a hook on each end so that when we lift this whole assembly up, we can support it with this. There's this uh, metal bracket with a hole in it. That's actually where the stud goes that we have to pull it forward to get it off of. So we're going to use that and then we're going to use the front lock. Once you have it supported, you can let it go and we can change the part. Now that we have the top up, we have access to the suspension rods. There's four of them, one located in each corner. The suspension rods are all changed out the same way. To get them out, first thing we're going to do is push the tub out of the way a little bit so we can reach down and grab it. And then we're going to lift it up so we can remove this plastic fitting from the end of the suspension rod. All you have to do is pull it off. Once you have it off, you can let the suspension rod go through the hole. Now that we have the suspension rod released from the top, we have to release it from the bottom. The easiest way to do it is to press the tub over to the opposite corner and then reach down. You have to press this tab to release the blue bushing. Once you have them released, you just have to pull the rod through this cutout and lift it out of the machine. Now that we have the suspension rod out, we can remove this bushing. There's three locking tabs on the bottom, so we're going to reach underneath and press on them to release them and lift the bushing up. Once you have the bushing out, you can just pull it aside. If you have the older style that didn't have the bushing, there's probably going to be a bunch of grease in the frame right here. So make sure you clean all that old grease off the frame so it's ready for the new bushing. Here's the old suspension rod kit next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Of course, we're showing you all these at once, but you're going to change them out one at a time. We just wanted to show you the old kit versus the new one. To put the new bushing in, all you have to do is line it up and push it down and make sure all three locking tabs lock in. Now we can put the rod down onto the washer tub. Before you lower it down there, do the best you can to center this blue bushing. That way when you lift up on it, it'll be easier to lock it in. And then we're going to lower it down in and through that same slot we took it out. Once you have it in there, you can lift up and listen until you hear the little tabs lock into place. Once you have the lower half hooked in, we can reach in and lift up on the suspension rod. And once you have it pulled up, we can very carefully put this ball on. All you have to do is slide it into the slot and make sure that the hook goes in the center part right here. Then you can release it and the tub will be supported. Once you have the first one done, we can go around and do the other three. 
When you get to the right rear suspension rod, there's a plastic clip down there that holds the drain hose. So you want to make sure that you reach down and take it off before you take out the rod. Now that you have this rod installed, we can reach down inside and clip that white clip back on to hold the drain hose in place. Also remember on this right rear rod, you have the air pressure hose that goes from the bottom of the tub up to the control, and that controls your water level. You want to make sure it's routed properly like this and not wrapped around the rod. Now that we have the part installed, we can put the top assembly down. We're first going to tilt it up a little bit so we can take the strap off. And then this hole right here is the one that goes over this stud right here that makes it hard to lift up and push down. So same as when we lifted it up, we're going to set it down, take the tape off, and then pull forward on a little bit and then push it down and lock it in place. Now that you have the lid down, we can take the tape off and then lift up on the lid and kind of pull forward a little bit and push down so the locking tabs lock in place. Once you have the top down, then you can close the lid and plug the washer back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.